hey everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be showing you the easiest way to dual boot the ubuntu linux along with windows 10 and windows 11. now i'm using windows 11 here and i will be dual booting this with the ubuntu linux but if you're using windows 10 then you can follow the same steps so the very first thing guys you have to do you need to create a different partition where you can install the ubuntu linux operating system now in case if you don't want to use a different partition and you want to install on a different disk then you have to make sure that both the disks contain the same partition scheme so for that you can right click on the windows icon go to disk management and here you have to right click on the disk zero that should be your first disk then click on properties click on volumes and here in the partition style you will find the partition style it should be either mbr or gpt so this is what you need to make sure that both the disks should have the same partition style then only you would be able to dual boot it all right so now we will be only going with the different partition so you can bring up the file explorer go to this pc and on my end you can see i have only one partition so i need to create a new partition here where i can install the ubuntu linux so again bring up the disk management and here you have to look for the c drive right click on it click on shrink volume so basically we are taking some space from the c drive so that we can create a new partition then it asks you to enter the amount of the space to shrink in mb so at least it's recommended that you should take around 20 gigabyte but i would recommend you that at least have 30 to 35 gigabyte so we have to enter the amount in mb so for 32 gigabyte i will type in a round figure 32000 and then click on shrink and 31.25 gigabyte unallocated space has been created and now we can go ahead and create a new volume here so we will right click new simple volume click on next 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 and the volume label we can rename it to like ubuntu so that we can quickly identify click on next and then click on finish and bingo so now you can see that we have a new partition here by the name ubuntu so on this partition we will have the windows and on this partition we will have the ubuntu so that there should not be any kind of confusion even if you bring up the file explorer so you'll find two different partition here all right now next you have to download the ubuntu iso so bring up any of your favorite browser and search for ubuntu download click on the first website of ubuntu download ubuntu desktop and then click on the latest version that is download 24.04 lts and the downloading will be started and it's around 5.7 gigabytes so it will take some time so you will have to wait until the downloading is being completed okay so finally the ubuntu iso has been downloaded now next what we have to do we need to create a bootable usb of this ubuntu iso so we will be using a very popular tool that is rufus so open up your browser and search for rufus hit the enter key click on the first link scroll down and you will find the rufus 4.5.exe you will have to click on it and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded now before running it plug in the usb that you want to make a bootable usb and it should be at least 8 gigabyte in space so plug in and then click on the downloaded file of rufus click on yes if it asks for the update policy then you have to click on yes and this kind of rufus dashboard will be up now here in the device section it will automatically detect your pen drive your usb as on my end you can see it automatically detected the sandisk 32 gigabyte so once you have selected the right usb then from the boot selection you have to click on select and locate to the place where you have downloaded the ubuntu iso select it click on open and now you don't have to make any kind of changes so simply click on the start click on ok click on yes and it will say if you have any data on your pen drive or usb everything will be wiped out so if you have any important data take the data backup first and then you have to click on ok and the process of creating a bootable usb will be started and it won't take much time but still you have to wait until it's all been done okay so finally the bootable usb is ready now and you can plug in to another computer where you want to dual boot but if you want to dual boot on the same machine no need to plug out just keep it plug in 
and next you need to boot the computer in the bios mode where you can change the boot priority order so that it can boot with this bootable usb so go ahead and restart the computer and use the bios key the bios key can be different depending on the different manufacturer like f10 f9 escape or the delayed key and you will be getting up this kind of a screen that give you several options try or install ubuntu ubuntu save graphics so you will have to choose the first option that says try or install ubuntu hit the enter key and very soon the ubuntu loading screen will be up so again you will have to wait all right so now finally you will be getting this kind of a screen that says install welcome and it give you two different options you can either try ubuntu or you can install ubuntu so let's say if you want to try first then you can go with this option but i have to go and dual boot it so i have to install it so i will choose my desired language and then click on install ubuntu choose the keyboard layout click on continue then you will be getting update and other software what app would you like to install to start with normal installation will include the web browser utilities office software games and minimal installation will only include the web browser and the basic utilities so i will go with the normal installation other update download update while installing ubuntu install third party software for graphic so i will keep this selected as it is and then you have to click on continue next it will ask you the installation type install ubuntu alongside windows boot manager yes you have to go and select this option only so click on continue then it says install ubuntu alongside windows boot manager this is the selected drive so it says allocate drive space by dragging the divider below so how much space you want to give you can drag and then finally you have to click on install now it says before you can select a new partition size any previous changes have to be written to disk you cannot undo the operation so click on continue click continue again then it will ask you a location so select the location then you have to click on continue so now it will ask you basic information like your name so just type your name pick a username whatever username you want choose a password so make sure that all these boxes give you the green tick so that it means everything is good to go then you have to click on continue and the installation process will be started now here you have to wait for a bit until it's all been done so once installation will be completed it will ask you to restart so go ahead and restart now and now it says please remove the installation medium and then press the enter key so you can just unplug the bootable usb and then you have to hit the enter key all right so from the next time whenever you restart the computer you will be getting this kind of a screen that says ubuntu or you want to go with windows so if you want to boot with the windows 11 or 10 then you can choose windows boot manager or else you can choose ubuntu as of now right now you have to select ubuntu and hit the enter key so that it can finalize the installation steps then go ahead and click on the user account type the password that you created so here we are now it says connect your online account so if you want to connect it then you can connect as of now i will skip it then it says enable ubuntu pro i will skip that as well location service i will disable it you are ready to go these are the application that are being installed on the ubuntu machine like vlc obs spotify zoom discord and you can enjoy all these application so finally click on done and the ubuntu desktop is up here and if i bring up the file manager so this is the file explorer that it looks like and now if i go ahead and restart the computer again so let me go ahead and restart it so again you will find this kind of a screen that will give you the ubuntu and the windows boot manager so we have already checked the ubuntu and now we will choose windows boot manager and now it will be loading my windows 11 Alright, so that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video and found this information useful to dual boot the Ubuntu alongside with the Windows. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.